What's up, Dragon Nation? I'm Rich with Dragon Nation Gaming. Welcome back to Space Engineers. Last episode, we finished the base behind us. Well, at least the projection part of it. Now what we need to do is we need to go out and get some more. The only way I have of doing that right now is by hand. So I'm have to make trips back and forth with ore, which is extremely time consuming. What I would like to do is build myself a vehicle so that way I could go out to the ore grab a ton of it, and then bring it all back at one time. I have an idea for the vehicle that I want to make. I do have a blueprint for, I called it the Hemet. Now, it doesn't have the same abbreviation as the real world Hemet, but yeah, that's because it's a little bit different. I want to try to recreate that vehicle, but I want to change it up just a little bit. So let's go ahead and get this started. So I went ahead on my own and I built a rotor and a projector. That was so that I could get the projection up of the vehicle. Uh, if you guys haven't seen the vehicle that I'm talking about, let me go ahead and bring the projector up and turn it back on. This is the vehicle in question. This is my Hemet. Now, the abbreviation for this one is H-E-M-I-T, not H-E-M-T-T. The real world equivalent is a uh, uh, no yeah h-e-m-t-t -T, i think but yeah that's a nomenclature it's just an abbreviation for what it's actually called mine was with an i instead of an e i never came up with a really cool name for it i just wanted to change it up to put it on the steam workshop but yeah we need to go ahead and get this thing built so like I said, I'm going to be changing some stuff up on it. So we're going to go to the projector. We're going to turn that off. Now, I can't remember the dimensions exactly. So I'm going to try to do the best that I can. We might have to change things up a little bit. I'm not sure. But we'll see how it goes. All right. So let me get some power. And first thing I need to do is I need to make room for the suspension. So we're going to come up three blocks high. We're going to be using 5x5 five five suspension. And I want it to be a little bit higher. That's why we need three. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring it back as far as I can. It won't be too far. Because uh, we have to... All this stuff is going to be in the way. Oh, and it looks like that rotor turned. I'm going to have to fix that rotor. So I think I'll bring it back to... No, I think that's a little too much. Let's say right there. And what I want to do is I want to go out 36. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25... 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. All right, now what I need to do is I need to finish off the rest of it. All of this is going to be three high. All right, now that we got all that, what I want to go ahead and do is bring in the suspension. Now, I won't be able to weld it up quite yet because I don't have everything. Uh, the thing you got to know about the suspension is there is a right and a left. But the thing is, there's no difference between the two. They're pretty much exactly the same. The only difference is the way the thread points. So which one do I have here? Left, right, okay. So we're going six, 
over on this side. Now I want to bring it down as far as I can, but still have connection on the top and bottom of it. And then I want to bring it in one for the blocks we're going to be using to try to protect that suspension. Oh, wait. Hold on. The wheel did in place. Reason that happened, I was too close. Let's try that again. Alright, so I want you right there. Let's back up a little bit. Okay, maybe too much. Right there. There we go. Alright, next thing we need to do is figure out where the next one's going to go. But we also need to make sure there's a space so there's no collision. It's not going to screw anything up. So, it looks like right there should be fine. Alright, let's do the same on the front. And then we'll do the other side as well. So I think right there. Yep, there we go. Alright, now we can go ahead and do the right side. Now, like I said, there's no difference between the left and the right. The only difference is the tread. Okay, that did not work. Let's try that again. I'm still too close. Are you kidding me? It's just, it's difficult to place these things. You have to kind of get at an angle a little bit. So, right like that. There we go. Now I gotta figure out where this one's gonna go. Alright, there it is. I, I was just barely out of the collision. It did shake me up and push me away a little bit to place it. So, oh, no, oh, too much. There we go. And now this one right here. Oh, still too close. Jesus. Alright, one more time. <laughs> this, hopefully only one more. There we go. Alright, so next thing we need to do is I need a platform to put cargo containers on. Now the reason I did three is if I go out like this, I actually want the cargo area to be above the tires. Because if not, we're going to have a collision and I'm also not going to have enough room to put what I want to put up there. So what we have to do is come out one more, or come up one more, and I think... Well, let's see how many it is. I need to come out to about even with the tires as much as I can might not be exact but we'll see what is that one two three four five six yeah I don't want to go over we'll go under so yeah it looks like six now this is going to be a platform going all the way to the front so what I need to do is I need to place a lot of these blocks so yeah, let me go ahead and get that done, get everything welded up, and then we'll go through the next step. And I think I need large steel too. Eh, only three. That's fine. Alright, so here's our platform. Right now this thing would be able to move if it had power. And a cockpit. But so far, so good. Alright, the next thing we need to do is I need to put uh, power on this thing. So right here, in between the wheels, this is where the fuel tank would go. So what we're doing is kind of the same thing. We're putting our fuel there, but our fuel is going to be batteries. But I need to first make a wall. So I'm trying to divide the batteries between... Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, the wheels. So that way, if we hit a rock or something, I can make sure that there's some protection from behind, especially if these tires or the uh, suspension blows up. It would be nice to have some protection. Alright, so we're just going to make a wall right here, and then I'm going to go ahead and place the batteries. Now, actually, let's weld this up real quick. Now, I think if I did my math correctly, we're going to have two rows of six batteries, which all together will make 24. But we'll have to see. Let me just grab a little bit of power real quick. Alright, let me find batteries. So with the original ship, or the original vehicle, I used the small batteries. But yeah, that just was not enough. I had so many issues with it. So this time, what we're going to do is there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we should have enough room to go ahead and put another wall here. Yep, I think that will work. And then we'll go ahead and put another row of batteries. Now, someone did mention 
in the original version that having the batteries underneath the vehicle was kind of dangerous or having cargo or whatever but it's not because what happens is the suspension on that suspension right there and that suspension right there keeps the center from high centering and if it does high center we're only destroying batteries it, it should not it shouldn't be an issue but I haven't had an issue with it yet but that's one of the things we'll have to find out and it all depends on how you drive the vehicle if you drive like an asshole of course shit's gonna break it doesn't really matter where you put it so this is gonna be 24 so the next thing I have to do is get all this welded I should have all the components that I need for it let me see oh yeah we got plenty so yeah I just need to get all these batteries welded up and then copy the same thing on the other side and then we need to figure out cargo all right now that we got that done what I need to do is figure out where the cargo containers are gonna go so right here in the back we're gonna actually have a wall that we're, will protect it from the back it's basically what I'm trying to do is make it look like this is actually holding like cargo containers it's not actually part of the ship so I'm just gonna try to make it look like that as much as possible so we're just gonna go ahead and place a wall right here so I can figure out where those cargo containers are gonna go what I need to do is I need to leave a section in the middle I need to leave a space so that way I can put conveyors if I need to I don't know I haven't figured that all out yet so what I want is in the back we're gonna have connectors so I want to make sure there's a large access in the back the other containers are going to be connected in the front so I need to make sure there's large access on the front as well now as far as large access for the rest of it that's all I need uh, we're only going to be passing through ores on this vehicle so I don't need to worry about uh, large access points for ores uh, because they do pass through small access points I think that's right where we need to put it so let's go ahead and place that one and then I need to do four more I think and then I have to get these welded up all right so there are the cargo containers batteries cargo containers now in order to be able to use this thing the only thing we're gonna need is a cockpit but I can't remember where I put the cockpit <laughs> that sucks all right let me go ahead and fix up my inventory real quick uh, just grab the stuff that I need to get it started there we go and what I want to do is I want to go ahead and turn on the projection real quick so I can show you guys what I'm talking about and you'll understand so originally when I built this vehicle the cockpit I put out way too far what I want to do is I want to try to bring it in eh, how many blocks that's a good question uh, let's bring it in I think the edge of the cockpit is right here like this is the edge so I want to bring it back in two blocks so let's go one and two and I think that is what three wide yeah like right here and there all right let's turn the projection off and see what's gonna happen all right so okay projector off all right now let's see what happens god damn there is really no room right there I need to open that up a little bit all right so cockpit and see if I can place it right right there I don't know that kind of seems low I think I need nah that'd be about let me see no that would be about where the conveyors would be not sure let me turn on the projection and make sure I have the right height I pro probably have to lift it up one more 
So, K, projector, on. Uh, it looks like, no, that's where it was. Even? Yeah, it is even. So yeah, I guess that's where it was. I did not know that. All right, so next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and get that uh, welded up so we can take this thing out and test it out. I also need to go ahead and get the uh, suspension set up as well. Well, let me just go ahead and weld it up. It's not going to take much. What was that? Construction grid, motor display, computer, glass. All right, so we don't need any of this, so... Construction, motor, uh, I think it was glass, which I don't have any of. Did I really not make any glass? Well, now I have. Uh, computer and grid. There we go. That should be enough. No, oh, I think I forgot something. Oh, I didn't have enough glass. Okay. I'm gonna grab a little bit more. All right, so all we need to do now is go ahead and set up the suspension. Now, of course, I'm not gonna leave this vehicle like this. Uh, at some point, I do need to go ahead and put those hydrogen engines in there. So that way we can power the batteries to recharge them. But for now, I just wanna get this thing tested out. Oh, wow, is it raining or is it just foggy? It's just foggy. Probably not the best time to test out a vehicle, but we're gonna do it anyways. All right, so okay, let's go into suspension. Now, for right now, I'm gonna make sure that every wheel has a turning radius. At some point, once they start figuring out how the turn radius is in this vehicle, I might go ahead and turn, turn off steering on some of the wheels, probably the rear ones. But power, yeah, let's go ahead and up that a little bit. I think that'll be enough. Uh, strength. We're going to be taking this thing off-road, so we don't need it too high. Let's try. And let's try right there. We'll have to see. Hide offset. Make sure that's all the way down. Friction. Hmm. That one I'll have to test out. I'll have to test the vehicle out on uh, a decent surface, not on the ice lake. And then we'll see how well it works. But I think that's... Let's go ahead and set the speed limit. Eh, screw it. We'll set it for right there. Alright, so we should be able to go ahead and drop this thing now. And test it out. If I can get in there without getting crushed. Ooh, okay, that was close. Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> I didn't get crushed. Almost got crushed, but not quite. All right, let's get in the cockpit. Let's pull this thing forward and see what happens. Well, it rolls, but I can't. There we go. All right, so like I said, <laughs> this is not the end of it. I am going to do a little bit more to it. Try to get it looking good, but so far, this is about all we need. All I needed. Oh, I do need connectors as well. Hold on. And then I need to figure out a way of connecting this to the base. So once we get inside, I need to be able to connect this thing up. Let me get those done real quick. And still play. Whoops. And I'm out of hydrogen. Good timing. Right when I come in here. All right, hydrogen. There we go. Let's grab some steel plate. And go ahead and finish those connectors. So yeah, that's pretty much all I need to get this thing working. And then I'll figure it all out. We'll, we'll add to it as time goes on. But what I need to do now is I need to go ahead and get this on to... Oh, wow. They do turn a lot, don't they? I need to get this on regular ground and not the ice and see just how well... This thing rolls. Might also be a good idea to go ahead and put a detector on this thing. I'll just have to figure out where to put that. 
Though we do have a bank over here. Which leads to the area where I first started long, long time ago. So yeah, it's just right over the hill. There's an open plain area. And that's where I started. I got to the point where I got tired of starting new worlds, so I'm trying to keep this one alive. And there's been a couple of times when the world tried to screw itself up, and I had to do some stuff. Well, that was a pretty good transition. But so far, I haven't had an issue with this world. Alright, just checking the batteries, making sure we're not high centered. We should be high enough, we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> this thing looks so freaking ugly like this. But don't worry, at some point we'll dress it up a little bit, make it look a little bit better. Uh, I can't really tell how the suspension is doing. I might want to go ahead and take down the strength of the uh, suspension just a little bit. Maybe. And I think the wheels in the back are too far apart. Oh, this is a good test right here. Ooh. Free wheel motion, baby. Alright, so... It also kind of looks like the... Yeah, I need to move those cargo containers out a little bit. I can move them out a block a piece. Alright, so at least the cockpit is not grinding on the ground like it used to. So, that's good. Let's go ahead and get back to base. So yeah, the turn radius is pretty good. But if I turn off steering in the rear wheels, this thing would take a mile to turn around. So yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it like this, just make sure we don't go too fast. Because honestly, I don't need to go too far with this thing, I just need to be able to go far enough to grab resources. So yeah, let's see if I can transition without... Let's do this quickly. Screw it. We'll let it go. Nice and smooth. Damn. So the only issue that I have right now is in order to back this thing up to connect it to a uh, connector so we can unload it, I have to back it in. Which kind of sucks sometimes. Is really difficult. So what I'm thinking about doing is we need to figure out a way of turning this thing around when we get it inside. So in a live stream I did one where I had landing gear, no it was connector. I had a connector attached to the top and I just used a piston to pick up the vehicle. But that's okay for small vehicles but large vehicles that are fully loaded, I don't think I'm going to do that. It wouldn't be too realistic. Probably do it from the bottom. Kind of try to build a turntable or something. I have no idea. Alright, I think that's good enough right there. Oh yeah, that was definitely close enough. So yeah, we finally got a vehicle. I need to put a detector on it. I'll go ahead and dress it up as much as I can on my own. Uh, the thing I'll leave out is... At some point, we do need to figure out where to put hydrogen engines so we can charge up those batteries. Because like I said, this thing is not only going to be a cargo hauler, it's also going to be kind of like a backup generator. So I need to make sure that this thing has enough power to keep those batteries charged. Which means I'm going to need O2 generators, I'm going to need hydrogen engines. I might have to get rid of some of those cargo containers so that way I can make room for it. I don't know. We'll have to see how that works out. So, uh, this Saturday, usually what I do is on Saturdays I live stream Space Engineers. But I've gotten to the point where I'm kind of getting tired of playing Space Engineers. I just need a break for at least one weekend. But I still feel like streaming. So what I did was I set up a poll on my channel for the next game to, uh, game to live stream this Saturday. So make sure you guys go in there and go ahead and vote for uh, what game you want to play. If there's a game that you don't see in the poll, just go ahead and put it down in the comments. And I'll check it out, and if it's something that looks like it's fun to play, I might play it. But yeah, go ahead and let me know. Uh, go ahead and vote if you find a game that you like. If you don't, go ahead and put 
the game that you like in the comments and we'll see how everything goes the uh, vote will end tonight at midnight so make sure you get your vote in right now Ark Survival Evolved is winning so if you want to see something else definitely get in there and get your vote down but yeah we'll worry about that tomorrow until then make sure to like and subscribe all that good stuff I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.